Hi guys, hope you're well. Welcome to my channel, Hipset. Today's video is, you guessed it, by the title, a beauty tag. So I have 30 questions to answer. I kind of Googled it and this is the questions I came up with. I'll link the specific blog post that I found it from in the description box for you guys anyway. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to do something different and I wanted to get you to know me and vice versa. So I would like to tag all of you guys. I want to get to know you guys a little bit more. You can answer all of the questions, some of the questions. None of the questions if you want, if you want to say something else, let me know in the comments below. I want to, I want to know. So let's get started because 30 questions. Don't want so the first question is, on. do you remember your first makeup item? That was a long time ago. Um, I think it was a lip gloss because I just love lip products from the beginning, I think, when I was ever since I was little. So I think it was a lip gloss. It was that kind of product. Probably a lip gloss. Number two, describe your perfect mascara. Have you found one that fits your specifications? In a mascara, I want volume, length, and separation because um, I've noticed that I have sometimes in sparse, like little areas in my like on my eyelashes, um, if that makes sense. So that's what I would look for, and I think I have found it. I really like the Roller Lash um, from Benefit Mascara, from Benefit Mascara, from Benefit Cosmetics. And I think the Givenchy one, I think it's called the La Soin Noir one, but I'll leave the name actually down below on like across the screen. But yeah, I really like that one as well. It really does give you the volume and the length. Um, so yeah, so Roller Lash from Benefit and Givenchy this one, I think it's called. Number three, what kind of coverage do you prefer from your foundation? Especially when it's a foundation, medium to full, When I, because I do want that flawless finish on my face. Number four, favorite high-end brand? I'm going to say two, because why not? Um, Makeup Forever and Clinique. I really love the Clinique skincare range, um, as well as some of the makeup products I have tried so far. And yeah. Number five. What cosmetic brands have you always wanted to try but still haven't? Well, that list is going to be endless. I will say I'll name my top five. Um, well, <laughs> not top five. Okay, I'll name the ones that I was going to say. It's not in any particular order, but... Kat Von D, Becca, Chi Chi, um, Colourpop, Sleek, Too Faced. So yeah, those are those are some of the ones that I want to try. I've quite a few. Um, Makeup Revolution. So yeah, the list is endless. <laughs> Number six, favorite drugstore band. Elf, I think. Elf Cosmetics. And I've tried some of the stuff I've tried from Rimmel as well, I really like. So Rimmel and Elf. Number seven, do you wear false eyelashes? No, but I do want to get more into I do have the little individual ones, so I'm hoping to use them at some point, maybe even in a tutorial. So yeah, we'll see that may fail miserably, but let's try it anyway. Um, I think the why, reason why I'm really apprehensive is just, I don't know, like... I don't know why I find it, it, it seems a bit difficult to apply, I don't know. But it, I mean, better try it, knock it, let's not knock it before you try it, right? So I'm going to hopefully try it at some point. Um, and maybe I'll give you guys a little feedback once I have. Um, yeah, so number eight is, is there any kind of makeup you can't leave the house without? Well, I feel like I can, I'm comfortable enough to leave the house without no makeup. But I tend to really just wear lip balm, so I don't know if that's really like a make. That's more like a beauty item. Um, so lip balm is the main one. I just don't. I don't leave the house without it. Um, so yeah, I guess lip products in general. I just I love wearing. So I guess that's one product. But I don't mind not wearing them. Does, does that make sense? I hope it does. Number nine. What is your most cherished beauty product? I kind of just answered that in the previous one. Lip products in general. Um, I don't think I can say a specific kind of brand, but it's just lip products, lip balms. Um, yeah, so I think lip balms would be the main, and lip products would be the main one. Number 10 is, how often do you shop for makeup? Do you pick up an item here and there or get loads of goodies at once? It's a little bit of both. I get products here and there, as well as sometimes I kind of get quite a few in one go. It just really depends. Um, if I find something I'm looking for and it's like a couple of things, or if it's just one or two, then, you know, it really depends. Number 11 is, do you have a beauty budget or you spend freely? I have a beauty budget. 
as well as I kind of spend freely. So it's again a little bit of both because I try to stick to a budget, but if I'm say wanting a particular item, like for example, I've been really, really wanting the uh, Too Faced chocolate bars for a really long time. Um, so that, that kind of like, I will spend a little bit more on. But yeah, so it just really depends on the item, I guess, as well. But I try to stick to a budget. So number 12 is, do you utilize coupons, reward cards and sales when you shop for cosmetics? I try to. Um, I have the Sephora Black Card or the Sephora Card programs. I have their card. Um, and it's nice to save some money. So I, yeah, I, I try to kind of use, use go in like sales, especially if I'm just looking for like maybe one item or something, then I try and go in for the sale. Um, so yeah, so I try to. Number 13. What type of products do you buy the most? Lip products. Lip products. Lipstick chunky, lip product chunky. Um, yeah, so lip products. Number 14. Is there a brand that you absolutely can't stand? Not really. Um, I think it's more of a specific product than anything. So like if I've tried a product and I don't like it, then I will avoid it. But I won't say completely no to the brand that it's come from. I would want to try something else because you never know it could be like so all brands have this they have a hit or miss in their collection like one one item can be really good one can be really bad so number 15 do you avoid certain ingredients on cosmetics like parabens and sulfates no but i think i should do because I, I mean obviously it's the reason you should avoid it <laughs> um number 16 do you have a favorite place to shop for makeup, Sephora, and I tend to just kind of go where I buy my groceries, so kind of like the drugstore, so I think that's like, for me here in Dubai, it's like Union Co-op and Carrefour, um, so it's like mainly um, around the corner from where I live, so mainly I tend to go to Mall of Emirates, or there's the Albersha Mall, so those are the favourite places I tend to go to, to buy makeup, apart from Sephora. Number 17. Do you like trying new skincare products or do you keep to a certain routine? Oh, definitely love trying new skincare products. I mean, you can probably tell by my empties videos, but um, if I find a product that really works for my skin, then I will stick to it and kind of just integrate it into my skincare routine. Number 18. Favorite Bath & Body brands. Nivea is a really good one, I feel like. And I think there's the, the shower gel I really like using is the Bio Skincare one because it's really good for my sensitive skin. It doesn't irritate it. What else? What else? Oile is really good, I found. Um, yeah, so I, I like I still like trying to use different brands. So, so far, I think it's Nivea Oile and Bio Skincare for shower gel. Number 19. Nearly there. Halfway through, or more than halfway through. <laughs> Number 19 is if you could buy only one brand, which would it be? Makeup Forever. I've tried a couple of things from them and I've so far liked it. So I think Makeup Forever. Number 20 is what brand do you think has the best packaging? And I'm going to cheat a little bit on this question and say kind of three. Kat Von D, Urban Decay and Too Faced. They have the nicest packaging. I love it. Um, just so cute and pretty and with like Too Faced is really nice and cute and just pretty. As so well, same as Kat Von D, I love Love, yeah, just, yeah, that's it. Cat Von D, Urban Decay, and Too Faced. Number 21 is which celebrity always has great makeup? I think Jessica Alba has. That's, that's what I think. Jessica Alba has good makeup. Number 22 is do you belong to any online makeup communities? Not that I can think of. I, I used to be on the makeup social app. Uh, but it doesn't seem to work for me anymore, the website, so I don't know what's going on with there. I'm going to check it again today and see if it works. Um, number 23. Five favourite beauty gurus. Oh, Tati, Shannon XO, um, Jacqueline Hill, Kathleen Knight, Angry Bird Girl. 24. Do you like multifunctional products like lip and cheek stains? I mean... Even if I do have that kind of product, I tend to really just use it for one purpose. I try to use it for both, but it, tends, it just always can, ends up going to be one purpose. So, yes and no. Um, kind of just depends, really. I think maybe 
maybe no i would lean more on no what do you guys think do, would you do you like kind of those kind of products that you can use you know like two in one um number 25 are you clumsy putting on your makeup obviously when i have more time i will you know take time with my makeup and i won't be clumsy but when i'm in a rush then sometimes yes i'm a little bit um but i can just you know quickly fix it and it's fine so yeah sometimes when i'm in a rush number 26 do you use a makeup base slash primer for your eyes I didn't used to, I used to really mainly use concealer, but now I've kind of started to getting into it a little bit more. So I'm using the e.l.f. what's it called? e.l.f. Shadow Lock, something like that, e.l.f. Shadow Lock Primer. So that's what I've been using recently and so far I've actually been liking it. Otherwise I use you know, concealer. Number 27, how many hair products do you use on a typical day? None. I rarely use product in my hair. Um, when I, when I, okay, sometimes I use like a little hair protectant on, like hair, heat protectant, sorry, on my hair, um, especially when I blow dry my hair, but, um, and if I sometimes need to use dry shampoo, I will use dry shampoo, but that's very rarely, but yeah, so not really that many at all, actually. <laughs> okay, number 28. Yeah, we're, on, we're already on number 28. Really? Okay, number 28. What do you apply first, concealer or foundation? Okay, so if I'm applying foundation, it'll be foundation first and then concealer. Otherwise, I tend to really just use concealer by itself. So yeah, when I'm wearing foundation, foundation first, then concealer. Number 29. Do you ever consider taking makeup classes? I would never say never, but because there's YouTube now, it's just so much easier. You can kind of get free lessons and just learn so much from YouTube. So... I just, I wouldn't say never. Maybe down the line I will. You never know. Number 30. Final question. I can't believe that's the final question. Okay. Number 30 is, what do you love about makeup? Everything. I mean, it's just a nice, fun way of expressing yourself. And for me personally, I feel like it gives me a little bit of a boost of confidence. Um, I mean, obviously you don't have to wear makeup, but yeah, that's just personally how I feel. Um... And I feel like you change your look every time. You don't ha you don't stick to you know one look. And there's no rules. Like I mean, you know, there's like some rules, but like there's like there are rules, but you know, rules can be broken. So that kind of thing. And I feel like makeup also brings people together. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's what I really love about makeup. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do give it a thumbs up, that way I will know to do more of these kind of types of videos. So with that being said, I do want to do another Q&A, it's a bit more personalised, so if you have any specific question you would like to ask me, please do leave it in the comments below, or on my Facebook, or my Instagram, Twitter, um, yeah, so all of my social medias, even on Snapchat, um, I'll leave all the links down below for you guys, or even across the screen. Um, so yeah, so do that as well. And if you like, please do answer these questions. I would love to get to know you guys a little bit more. Um, you can answer these questions or you can answer all of them, one of them, none of them. Or you can even just tell me a little bit more about yourself. Just anything you would like. So yeah, leave that in the comments below. And if you've done a similar kind of video, like a little video or a blog post, then let me know. Leave it down below in the comments below. So I would love to watch it or read it. I'd also like to take out a little bit of time just to say thank you. Um... I've not been noticing my subscribers has been increasing and I really don't really feel like we call you subscribers. I feel like you're friends. Uh, that's what I really like about makeup as well. It kind of brings people together and you become friends. So I'm hoping that's that's what we will become. And we have already, I feel like, become because you guys take out the time to comment on my videos, to watch my videos, and then you subscribe. So thank you, thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me. It's a little bit corny, I know, but it really does mean the world to me. So thank you. And hopefully I will hear from you guys soon. So do please do comment but down below. I would like to get to know you guys a little bit more. And yeah, so thank you again so much. And I will see you soon. Bye.